everyone welcome back to IT Nerd Zone and today we're gonna look at this new ASRock C2550 D4 i motherboard this is the product that I've been really very excited about this motherboard here comes with Intel Avaton C2550 quad core processor inbuilt into it and again I think it's incredibly cool due to its SOC system on chip design which makes it really compact and takes very little power to power it on. It comes with a total of 12 SATA ports which include 8 SATA 3 6 gigabits per second ports and 4 SATA 2 3 gigabits per second ports. It also comes with dual Intel i210 gigabit LAN ports with teaming function. It also includes three USB 2.0 ports and one PCI Express 8X slot. So I will go into more detail about these features in a bit. So let's see what's in the box first. So inside the box we have a few accessories and whatnot. I'll walk you guys through that. We have a IO panel shield. And we have some serial ATA cables. They support all 6 gigabit per second. Let me open one of these here. We have a total of 6 of them. So they look like this. So you get a couple like this, straight plugs on both ends, and then you get couple of like this ones which has a straight plug on one end and a 90 degree angle plug on the other end. Place this aside and then you get a user manual and there's a driver CD it has all the instructions about BIOS and things like that and finally here's what we are looking for that's the sweet motherboard I'm gonna throw this box away okay more protective stuff all right so I'm gonna cut this tie wraps off uh, let me grab a cutter uh, all right let's start from here Did a pretty good uh, packaging out here And now the protective packaging is off, we can have a clear view of the motherboard. So here is the 24 pin ATX power connector. And here are the four 240 pin DDR3 DIMM slot which supports dual channel technology. Another key design of ASRock was their choice to use the full length DDR3 DIMM slots in the mini ITX motherboard because most of their competitors like Supermicro uses SODIMS which are commonly found in laptops. Also this motherboard supports up to 64 GB DDR3 ECC and UDIM memory and there's also a low profile heatsink covering the Atom C2550 Avaton quad core processor. So this comes with six four pin fan headers there are two in here let me grab a pencil just to show you guys clearly so there are two pins two um, four pin connectors here and that's for the rear fan and there are two more fan connectors here which you can utilize to use a CPU fan on top of the heatsink if you guys prefer to use a heat a fan on a heatsink and there are two more here at the corner that's for the front fan and 
This motherboard also comes with 12 SATA ports as I mentioned before and you can notice a good spacing. So this gives you quite a bit of flexibility in where you can plug them in. The six ports here at my top here, there are six ports here. They're managed by Marwell chipset and the six at the bottom are managed by Intel. So the blue four ports that we see here are SATA 2, there are three gigabits per second ports and all the other white ports we see here are six gigabits per second ports. So here is the auxiliary panel header, um, the black connector that you see here. This header supports multiple functions on the front panel including the front panel system management buzz or the front panel LAN LED indicators and locator switch and LED uh, for the front panel so in case if you're using it on a uh, using this motherboard on a rack server uh, a locator switch will be handy to troubleshoot um, and what we have here is the TPM header uh, the other small black connector you guys see here um, this connector supports TPM systems uh, which can securely store keys or passwords, data, etc. So it also helps in enhancing network security uh, or protect digital um, identities, etc. And what we have here is the system panel header. This header supports several um, system front panel connections like your power switch or uh, the reset switch, system status, and hard drive status LEDs, etc. And um, here is the USB 2.0 header. So you can use that to connect it to the front USB or if you want some add-on USBs on your uh, case, you can connect um, to this connector. And again, this is not USB 3.0, it's just USB 2.0. And looking at this small connector here, uh, it's a BMC SMB header. Uh, there are three such connectors, or two uh, right next to the Intel SATA connectors. Um, so this header is used for system management buzz devices. And here are the other two BMC SMB headers I was talking about earlier. And the small 4-pin connector you guys see here is the IPM bus header. Uh, this connector is used to provide front panel connections and third-party add-in cards such as emergency management cards that provide management features using the IPM bus. Uh, this motherboard also comes with various hardware monitoring features like CPU and motherboard temperature sensing, also has CPU rear and front fan tachometer, also has a feature called CPU quiet fan which automatically adjusts the CPU fan speed by sensing the CPU temperature and we also have a CMOS battery right here and that is where you see your PCI Express 8x slot looking at the rear IO panel of this motherboard there is a standard legacy serial port as well as a standard VGA connector which supports D-Sub with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1200 at 60 Hz. And we have two USB 2.0 ports that can provide connectivity for external USB drives or keyboard and mouse. And there's one LAN port for the ASPID AST2300, BMC's onboard IPMI 2.0 functionality with KVM support. The solution allows for a lot of deployment flexibilities and is very similar to the solutions found in Asus, Supermicro and some Dell platforms. So if you have used Dell Drag Cards, iDrag Cards, you know what I'm talking about. This solution mainly focuses on remote management capabilities such as power control. You can power on or power down and reset the server remotely in case it becomes unresponsive. It also allows for a user to remotely mount ISO Im images, edit BIOS settings, and other tools. So without these features, an administrator would need to manually plug in a KVM to the system. 
and we have two additional gigabit LAN ports which are controlled by the Intel i210 controllers as I mentioned earlier it supports Wacom LAN, PXE boot and teaming features and finally we do have a locator switch this will be helpful if you're using this motherboard in a big data center environment and if you're installing it in a rack server this is very helpful for troubleshooting purposes to find your server in a rack and finally this motherboard supports various different operating systems including Microsoft Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 Server 2012 and if you're considering a Linux environment you can install CentOS 5.10 to 6.4 SUSE Enterprise Linux Server 11 Service Pack 1 with 32 or 64 bit. You can consider installing FreeBSD, Fedora, Ubuntu 12.04 to 12.10, I believe. And if you're considering to deploy this motherboard on a virtualization environment, you can install VMware ESXi 5.1 and it supports up to 5.5. And that is going to wrap it up for this video guys. Once again, we have been taking a closer look at the ASRock C2550 D4i motherboard. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel, IT Nerd Zone. If you found this video to be useful, informative, or even entertaining, please do click on the like button below and do subscribe to our channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time.